Hey, what's going on guys? People with Autopair Tips. In this video, we're working on the ABS system on a 2008 Jeep Wrangler. First thing we're gonna do is get that scanner hooked to it and see what kind of codes it's got. Let's go. When you're hooking your scanner up to the Jeep, the OBD2 connector is located right under the left side of the instrument panel. All right, after we got our scanner hooked to it, let's check out some of the readings. So I got my scanner hooked to it, and the first code that comes up is a C102A, the left rear wheel speed sensor. The first thing I want to do is pull up some data. And if we take a look, you can see the wheel sensors right here, the left front, the left rear, right front, and right rear. Let's drive it, and let's see if we have any readings. If you take a look at the readings, you can see the left front, the right front and the right rear reading. The left rear is not doing anything. Let's get it back. Let's get it up on the lift. Let's take that left rear wheel apart and let's see what we got. If you look right up in here, there's a better view here. This is what I was talking about, the grease. It's definitely showing indications of a grease seal leaking. So after seeing that grease, we're gonna take off the caliper and the rotor. Look behind there and see what we got. Brake looks nice and fat. Nice even wear on the pads. And the rotors have a nice even wear. Looking good on the brakes. The caliper bracket is holding on with an 18 millimeter. Whenever you take your brackets off, check your slides. Mm. These don't seem to be working very well because it's definitely sticking. Shouldn't be like that. There's a pin in here, it should slide back and forth so the pads can go in and out. Get the spacer off. This is a good view right here. If you look up and there, you can see the grease coming out of that round from the axle seal. And that's definitely getting up on the sensor, which is right there and causing it not to read correctly. Probably shorted it out. Actually, if you look even further, if you look down there even further, you can see there's a lot of wear on that axle. Might need an axle. Let's pull it out and take a look. There's four axle nuts on the back side. Each one's 18 millimeter. And you're probably wondering why I don't wear gloves. There's something in the latex that causes my thumbs to lock up. I must have some kind of allergic reaction to them that I can't wear those latex gloves. So needless to say, I spend a lot of time washing my damn hands. All right, the sensor's held on with a five millimeter Allen head. That's your wheel speed sensor. I called the customer and told him what I found. The rear axle seal was leaking, getting on the sensor. And I asked him, because it looked like somebody has been here before, this would be the third one he's put on. So I got to looking a little bit further. And like I was showing you earlier, if you look down inside here, you could see grooves real bad in the axle. So my hunch is that this axle actually has a groove worn in it and no matter how many seals you put on, it will continue to leak. So we're gonna replace this axle and go back with new seals and bearings and fix the slides. All right, guys, let's get some parts ordered. All right, guys, we just got the new axle in, had the bearings pressed on. This one's ready to go in the car. This is the old one that I was talking about that had the leak. If you look right here, this is where the seal rode at, right where my finger is. If you rub your fingernail like this, you can actually feel an indentation in the metal. What's happened is over a period of time, the seal wore a groove here, and that rear end grease is just coming out through here, just causing a small drip. Getting into the emergency brake area, 
it was being slung up onto the wheel speed sensor. That was giving you the ABS code and that traction control code. All right, guys, here's a pro tip for you. You're gonna take a rag, you're gonna put it right inside here where the axle would go. You're gonna use brake clean. You're gonna clean off the area thoroughly. And the reason why the rag is there, it keeps any kind of brake clean from getting inside you or in and contaminating the fluid. When you're done, make sure the Jeep is level. Take your fitting out of the rear and check your fluid and make sure it's topped off. After you got the area cleaned off, we're just gonna reverse procedure to put everything back. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you later.